3x tippet, just strong enough for bass, um, trout, and most other species. I can go thinner if I need to. There's a lot of structure in that area, so let's just do an experiment. Let's uh, give that bass over there. I can still see a smaller fly and see if uh, that doesn't turn him on. No reaction, very interesting. Let's try it on that bass, the bigger bunch. Even a tiny, uh, no, ooh, he's actually has a look at it. Experimentation is the key, I missed him. So that's interesting. Sometimes uh, if the bass are full, they'll still eat a peanut. Oh, yes. How's that? <laughs> There's one for the books. There's no absolute laws in fly fishing. That's uh, a good hefty bass on a tiny size uh, 16. Here's your nymph. But like I was saying, when the bass is full, they'll still eat a, eat a small morsel sometimes if it's right in their face. Got him. That's a very nice bass. There's at least a kilo. Look at that, and a tiny, tiny, tiny little nymph right in the corner of the mouth. Beaded, uh, here's your nymph. And that just goes to show you there's no absolute laws in fly fishing. Normally, the experts would tell you that you need a big fly to catch a, a, a fish this size, a bass this size, because they've got big mouths that like big meals, but this one ate a, ate a tiny little nymph. There we are, tiny little mayfly nymph. Here's your nymph. And uh, a fairly decent uh, large mouth bass. So there's no absolute laws in fly fishing.